Welcome to Acute Smash Studio's tutorial. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to call blueprint functions inside of a C++ class. I've already created a blueprint class with a public function for this because I'm going with the assumption that if you're looking up how to call a blueprint function from C++, you already have a C++ class and a blueprint class and you're wanting them to communicate. So what I'm going to be doing is using the blueprint class that I created prior to this video along with Unreal C++ character. As you're watching, if you find this video helpful, please remember to like and subscribe. So before we really begin, I'm going to show you what my Blueprint class looks like, just so you have an idea of what exactly is happening on the Blueprint side. So like I said, I have a public function that I'm going to be calling inside my C++ class. This is called set lifting. I'm going to be having an object just lift up into the air after I call its set lifting function inside of my character controller. My function has an argument of a Boolean, but the type of argument doesn't matter. So this function is what I'll be calling inside of my C++ class, and all this is doing is I'll pass in a true or a false, whether I want to be lifting or not, and then it will set my lifting to be that provided value. And inside of my tick is where I'll be checking if this lifting variable is true, and if it is, I'll lift my object. So again, I'm not creating the blueprint class with you, as I'm assuming you already have one, but you do need to make sure that this function is in fact public if you want to be able to access it from your C++ class. And now we can go ahead and go back to our scene, and I'm going to go to Edit, Project Settings, and I'm going to add an input so that way I can call on that function based off a key. So I'm just going to add an action mapping and I'm going to call mine lift, as that's what I'll be doing with my box, and then I'm going to assign it to L. And now with that done, I'm going to go ahead and open up the character controller, and I'm going to go over to my header. And you're going to need to add an include, and it's going to be misc, slash output device null dot h and an output device null is just an argument you have to provide for the function call so that's why we're including this here now i'm going to go ahead and scroll down and create my function and a property so the function i'm just going to be calling call blueprint function Here you might want to be more specific with what your action is actually doing, but for my purposes this is fine. And then I'm going to create a reference to our blueprint. So I'm going to have it be a U property edit anywhere, and then I'm going to make a category so I can find it easier in the details panel. And I'm just going to call this blueprint class. And my blueprint is an A actor, so I'm going to make a pointer to an A actor, and I'm just going to call it blueprint actor. And this will allow us to reference that actor that I have in the scene, so that way we can call on its function. Now we're going to go over to our CPP. And inside here, the first thing you want to do is go to our player inputs. And at the bottom, I'm just going to add a player input component. Bind action. I called my action lift. And then I want it to be called whenever I press, so IE pressed. I'm binding it to this character and the function I'm going to call whenever I press this is going to be the call blueprint function. And now I'm going to go ahead and create that call blueprint function, so it's void. And then my character controller is a calling blueprint tutorial character. And again, the function was called call blueprint function. And inside here, the first thing I want to do is create a f output device null. And we're just going to call this AR. And again, an output device is one of the arguments expected whenever we call the function that we'll be using to call our blueprint function. And ours is just going to be null, so that's why we initialize this here. And now we're going to go ahead and create a command that we're going to pass this function. So it's going to be a const fstring. 
and I'm going to call it command, and it's going to equal an f string print f, and then the text for our command is going to be your function name inside the blueprint. So mine was set lifting, and you want this to be inside of quotes. And then you're going to pass the argument. So mine was a boolean and I'm going to be using true so that way my object will start lifting in the air after I have pressed L. But this is where you'll put your argument. So if you have an int, you would just put your int here. Or if you have a float, you'd put a float here, etc. So again, mine's true. And that's my command that I'll be passing it. And then I'm going to check that my blueprint actor isn't null. And this just prevents null errors from happening if you forget to assign it inside the details panel. And then I'm going to be taking my blueprint actor. And on that actor, I'm going to be calling call function by name with arguments. And then that first argument is going to be our command. And then we're going to give it the output device. Again, ours is the RA. It's just null. And then it wants the executor. We're not going to be using an executor, so we'll give this null as well. And then the next thing is call without an executor, so we want that to be true, as our executor is null. And that's all the coding required in order to call a blueprint function from a C++ class. So again, you just need a reference to the blueprint class that you're wanting to call. And then you're going to use Unreal's built-in call function by name with arguments and pass in a command here. If you have no arguments and you're wanting to call the function, you just get rid of the argument like so and have the function name just by itself. So now I'm going to go ahead and go back to the scene. And we'll go ahead and compile. And then I'm going to click on my actor. And inside here, I'm going to search my blueprint actor. And I'm just going to go ahead and assign my lifter, which is this box right here to that reference. So now that that's done, I can go ahead and play. And as you can see, my lifting box is just sitting there. And now if I click L, it calls that blueprint function and lifts my box into the air. So as a recap, we created a reference of our blueprint actor from the scene with inside our C++ script. So that way we could call on functions within that blueprint actor from our C++ classes. As always, I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comments, or you can join our Discord and ask them there. We make videos here every Wednesday and Saturday, but we also stream games on Twitch Tuesdays and Fridays. And we have a game on the Google Play Store called Blast Off, as well as an asset pack of kids' toys on the Unity Store. And we also have a Patreon with a YouTube supporter tier where you can get all of the C++ code from our tutorials. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.